the very first card that you get is coming from Isis, talking about balancing career with home life. Home life, not necessarily meaning relationships, but in this reading, it does. <laughs> it very much does. It's about work and sort of your romantic relationship and balancing those two, relationship and work. The second card that you get is from Ariel, saying that it's important to have balance. So first we have balance and career from Isis, and Ariel steps in to say, yes, it's very important to have balance. These are also the first two cards for Taurus. So when this was coming out, I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> I already did Taurus. So it's for you too, Pisces. Um, notice this balancing act, right? Anybody feel like that? <laughs> You're maybe trying to balance a lot of different sort of projects together with a family relationship, just balancing everything. Let it be fun. This is what they want to say. Let it be fun and exciting. Get curious, right? Let it be fun. You are a healer. So it seems as though what they're saying in this reading is that as a healer, it's going to be really important as you're balancing home life and career life. Your career for many of you is probably going to be lined up sort of with your purpose. And so it's more than just a career, or it may feel like more than just a career. Many of you, if this resonates, are healers, walking healers. Everywhere you go, everyone you talk to, you just radiate this healing. Look at this card, how all these light rays are just, they're just beaming off of him. It's, it's kind of like that everywhere you go. And because of that, as a healer, health and healing, your health is connected to this healing aspect or um, because it's kind of who you are, many of you Pisces. It's also going to be really important in May and on an ongoing basis, really, for you guys to clear and shield, clear and shield, clear and shield. This card, you know, this card could come up every month for you guys, <laughs> for everybody really. With the energies on the planet right now, it's really important to clear away the negative and shield, uh, shield to protect the positive that's, that's, that is you kind of thing. So clearing on a regular basis, clearing out any negative energy that may want to attach to you, that may want to um, draw some of your energy, drain some of your energy. Uh, so there is the shield to protect you from that as well. Anything that attaches you want to clear. This is going to be an ongoing basis for you. And these two are coming back. It's part of the balance too. It will help you stay balanced as the healer that you are in both career, which is very much just kind of who you are, as well as relationships, any kind of relationships, really, any kind of relationships. You're going to want to keep them balanced. The rest of the reading kind of comes in two sections and it's it's really interesting. One of them is about relationships and the other part of the reading is about your career path or your life purpose career path. They're two very distinct things and yet they're all part of the reading and this is at the very top, right? These two are at the very top of the rest of your reading, kind of top, top and center. You're a healer. That's really important to clear and shield. What they want to say about the shielding, and most of you probably know, you most of you probably know this. The shielding is very easy to think of a shield as just sort of this, you know, glass bubble that just 
protects you from everything. Um, most, most Pisces are highly, highly sensitive. So it's really important to shield, super important. What we want to be mindful of and careful of is that the shield that we may put up is not so thick that nothing can get in, <laughs> that the good can't get in. That's what I want to say, that the good can't get in. So it's really important to have your shield, um, to sort of be mindful of the shield that you create. I've said this in many readings, that the shield actually comes from you at your core and generating so much love that it just sort of fills you up and then radiates out and overflows. That is your shield, ironically. Ironically, right? You think, well, if all I do is walk around loving, then yes, I'm going to be attacked by those that want to siphon my energy. And yet, it's the love, because it starts with you, they can't touch it if it starts with you, if that makes sense. To envision a bubble on the outside of you, yeah, but when it comes from your core, they, it's like they can't, they can't be touched. Ironic. So they want you to see only love to help generate that love from your core, from the inside that just fills you up and radiates out. See only love in every situation. In this one, they're, want, they're saying that you are this one. See only love. Now it's easy to see love when we're looking at children. <laughs> That's easy to do. <laughs> but they're inviting you to see only love in every, in everyone. Find it, you know. Find the love in everyone. This is not to say that you have to be in relationship or that you have to have relationships with everyone. You're welcome to love people from a distance kind of thing. Uh, and they're wanting to say this because it's coming up to it's time to let go. Time to let go of any previous relationship that did cause you harm or that did sort of siphon from you. And you might have been seeing the love in um, a difficult past relationship. Uh, there okay moving forward as you fill up with love from the inside in other words loving yourself L loving yourself when you start at your core and you generate love for yourself and you generate love from yourself then you are in fact loving yourself and then out you are loving yourself first when you start with the generation of it from your core. Does that make sense? <laughs> Does that make sense? And then it radiates out. So it's time to let go of any relationship from the past that did not work out for any number of reasons. It's time to open your heart back up to love. And this time he's referring to love in relationship. Well, this is Jesus. Oh, we love Jesus and all the animals, the innocence, the purity, the purity of the animals, and at the same time, the power of the love that Jesus can can carry for even the lion and the bear and animals and the wolf, you know, that we would consider, you know, potentially dangerous or ominous. Um, he he loves himself strong enough that they're comfortable uh, with that. They wouldn't attack. They wouldn't attack Jesus. All right. That's what they're wanting you to get from this card. Jesus loving himself first so that even the lion and the wolf and the bear are comfortable with him, not wanting to hurt him. 
kind of thing. So letting go of any hurts from the past because it's time, it's time. And it looks like we also have the Ace of Raphael, Raphael the healer, right along with you guys, you guys as healers, uh, a positive new emotional experience. It might be a new experience for many Pisces to feel positive in love fulfilling romantic relationships, deep and lasting spiritual insights that um, in, um, ground you and allow you to feel safe and secure in yourself so that the, a romantic relationship can have a positive, new positive feelings for you and emotions for you to experience. And so Spirit is saying, keep your eye out because a new partner is on the way. In May, a new partner can be coming for some of you. Uh, get excited, right? Get excited. Uh, a chance meeting is no mistake, it says. It is divinely orchestrated as a catalyst to set the wheels in motion for the fruition of your prayers. So there's a part of you that is asking for a partner. So for those of you that are consciously, outwardly, openly asking for a partner, it's on the way. For those of you in your subconscious that are asking uh, to sort of heal the past and move on and actually experience a loving relationship. Maybe you have not experienced this before for some of you and you're asking for it. And so keep an eye out for meeting someone new. You'll recognize them by your sense of familiarity, comfort, and safety. And notice how the white unicorn and the angel in white, they're similar right? So this new person that you meet, you'll recognize them because you'll feel, they'll feel familiar to you. They'll feel very familiar to me, to you. Some kind of soulmate, maybe, uh, from previous lifetimes, maybe someone coming back or someone completely new. So keep your eye out for that. So we want to open our heart to love. So clear, clear the negative, let go of any past hurts. It's time, it's time to let go is what this is saying. It is time because you can experience a beautiful, loving relationship with a new partner. So keep your eye out for that. It's very exciting in May. <clears throat> and then we have this row down here that is re uh, regarding your career as a healer. <laughs> Many of you, you just are a healer and they're inviting you to take the lead in whatever it is, whatever avenue or whatever path that you, you feel is in line with your purpose that you would love doing. See only love. This is coming up right underneath this one. What would you love doing? And it's time to take the lead. So you're getting the stag is coming in to support you to take the lead in whatever projects or uh, work, career kind of work that you would like to pursue. And then we're getting one of your guardian angels is saying to have confidence and that in moving forward, it's more important actually to have confidence in spirit and knowing that spirit has your back, knowing and understanding how life works. That if you want, you know, whatever it is that you're wanting, right? If you're wanting a love relationship, it's coming. Whatever it is that you're wanting in terms of a career, it's coming. So have confidence in yourself, but also and almost more importantly, having confidence that spirit has your back and the law of attraction and the laws of the universe and everything is working for you in terms of, <clears throat> excuse me, what it is that you're really wanting. And then <laughs> you get the queen of Ariel and the king. I've not seen this happen. You got the queen and the king of Ariel. Notice the pink, right? Love. This is about love relationship. 
love in the work that you're doing, the king and queen. So here we have a bit of overlap with relationship, right? Balancing, balancing, uh, home life and career. And there's Ariel again. There's Ariel again, balancing. And so with this balance, we have the queen and the king in relationship, and also individually. As the queen of Ariel, she's saying to nurture yourself and those you love, and that you have an ability to make anything more beautiful. Anything can be more beautiful. Look at this card too. It's just like, you can see that she has really created beauty in this environment for herself. Now, most Pisces, you guys probably have done that already. Um, but if there are some areas in your world that could be more beautiful, uh, don't hesitate. It's, it's sort of one of your gifts <laughs> to create beauty everywhere you go. So you have that ability. So nurture yourself. Um, if, if this resonates with you by, you know, maybe taking it up a notch. If, if that's something that you do naturally anyway, maybe still there's a room in your house that could call for some beauty, <laughs> some added beauty, and allow yourself to, to do that. Enjoy that about doing that. Your plans are working out very well. This is from the King of Ariel, professional and financial success. So whatever it is, whatever it is that you'd like to create as a healer, they're talking as a healer, you're gonna take the lead now because in May, you, you've got some really powerful energy supporting you with whatever it is that you would like. So taking the lead, taking action, one thing being to create more beauty, also allowing love and seeing love everywhere you go, including the work that you do, especially if you're a healer, and um, and it's working out very well. Your plans are going to work out very well. And then we, your final card is the seahorse is saying, "Just watch, just just watch, watch and wait." This card says watch and wait, which is interesting because it's on the very end and on this bottom row where they're asking you to take the lead. Taking the lead would indicate uh, action. Doesn't that feel like action? Like take the lead means, you know, just sort of has this forward momentum to it as if you're going to be taking some action. So for them to say, watch and wait this card has an energy of sitting back and just kind of waiting and watching and um, not so much participating and so they're wanting to point out that this is the beginning and this is the end so it's like start by taking the lead take some actions make some things beautiful while you're doing that have confidence in yourself and spirit take the lead and as you do, things will start working. Things will start clicking into place. As you're taking the actions and the success will be coming, watch and wait is what they're saying is, as you take these steps, almost at the same time, you will see results. You'll begin to see results. To watch and wait, meaning having patience as you take actions to create something, taking the lead and taking actions towards what you're wanting to create, um, the results will show up. So keep going um, and get excited about the results that you will be cultivating as you take your action steps. Does that make sense? <laughs> It's like you envision it, you know what you want to do, you take the lead, you start taking actions, and as you do, things start showing up. Things start showing up. And so you see that, you witness it. Sometimes things don't show up in timing with when we would like. <laughs> And they're just kind of smiling. They're like, it's okay. You know, having patience because it is coming. Uh, this divine timing is coming in again. And yet it doesn't feel like it's going to be any kind of long wait for anything at this point in May. It's like this year is really, really good time to 
get the ball rolling. So letting go, time to let go of, of old hurts from relationships and, and get excited about a new partner. Letting go of maybe some work situations that didn't work and take the lead, seeing love um, and creating beauty and being the healer that you are, taking the steps to do that. This is an awesome year to do that. The energies are totally with you.